just finished up the last vlog as you can see you can clearly see i'm still wearing the same sweater because i literally just finished it up i'm not i'm not wearing the sweater from yesterday it's i've just finished it up today it isn't really much of a busy day i'm just uh i was just figuring out some stuff for the channel and i mean what else can we do <sighs> oh we're about to go get some um groceries at costco because uh i need some snacks you know i'm i'm on a very weird diet right now I, I can eat everything except dairy products and bread uh, dairy products because i get bloated and i get gassy i only have to fart here and there and bread because i shouldn't eat bread oh dairy as well because i have eczema on my leg you want to see it that's one one i got another one of you even higher right here look at that Ugh. so because of that i can't eat dairy products because it'll make me very itchy it'll just flare it up so i'm gonna go look for some healthy healthier alternatives yeah i want to get rid of this double chin at all costs nobody wants to see that so for now let me just go get my uh keys turn the car on and we're out of here i'm trying to find the healthiest of the healthiest here because no matter what, I usually overeat everything anyway, so I'll just try to find the stuff that has less oil, less fat and everything so that I don't have to, so I can eat without feeling guilty, basically. Cool. So we got home after this Costco run. We got some food also at the uh, Applebee's, you know, I was pretty hungry. I know why I didn't get no junk food. I just got like, a, uh, what's it called? It's just chicken with shrimp and rice. I mean, no, it wasn't rice. It was mashed potato pretty good it was it was it was, like, it was only about like 800 calories so it wasn't too bad um but now i gotta go to the gym i need to get strong you know i can't be weak out here you know that you see a big problem i have is that i'm very inefficient i need to get organized i need to i need to stay on top of my game i'm always running around in a rush i'm always late something i'm always procrastinating what i'm supposed to do so i need to figure that out because this can't keep going on you know i can't keep leaving this last minute it's just not i can't live like that i need to get on top of my game at all times i gotta warm up my shoulders because uh I get injured very very quickly if i don't do this Stretch every time you're done. If not, you're in for some bad time. Stretch lightly before and a little bit longer after. So I'm back in the gym. I had a uh, a protein shake, Garden of Life protein shake. It's a meal replacement, so I don't have to eat anything tonight because I already took the protein shake meal replacement. You know, dieting is hard because instead of eating that shake, I could have ate a bunch of other food that was out there already done with lots of grease, low protein, and high in fat. It wouldn't have been good, so the it's much better for me to take that meal replacement for my health because, you know, like I said, I gotta I got get rid of this, and I would do it at all costs. That means struggling to get this diet in. That's what it means. That's what I would do. I'm trying to clip my nails because they've been pretty long. I need, I need to cut them, so I'll do that right now. But yeah, dieting is not easy. It's The temptation is very strong, and it's very hard to beat. I've done it a few times, it took me a while, but I've been, I've been able to do it a few times. If I can do it, you guys can do it too, trust me. I've gone up and down in weight three times, like I said, from two, from 260 down to 220, back up to 275, back down to 205, and now I'm back up at 240. I think this morning I weighed in at 235, so I lost a little bit of weight. And it was quite simple, because me, I don't eat gluten or dairy those, those are the two things that are my weakness cheese i like cheese but now i'm forced to not eat dairy i, I can still eat it but i don't because i'm lactose intolerant because i went vegan like two years ago and i went vegan for a year 
so that I kind of it got rid of my lactase, so now I can't digest lactose. And even uh, I don't really eat dairy anymore because I have eczema and it flares up my eczema like hardcore. And gluten, well, I prefer not eat it because, like I said, it's bread basically. Basically, all gluten products most likely are not good for me. You know, like crackers, all types of cookies, you know, uh, bread, pizza, all that, all that type of stuff. Cereals get gluten free and dairy free. I still eat meat, but I stopped eating all the dairy and gluten. It helps me lose weight very easily, very easily. So I did calisthenics. Yeah, I don't know why I stopped talking out of nowhere. So, but like I was saying, I don't do. I just did. I did calisthenics uh, yesterday because um, I have a weird back of an injury I have in 27. Why do I always talk about bad things here? I'm not sure why I do that. I'm sorry. This is the last bad thing. It just, I had an injury in the back in the past, uh, lower back. It wasn't really too bad of an injury, just a light, light lower back, whatever. Um, yeah, so now I only, so now I just recently started, matter of fact, I'm gonna lie to you, yesterday I started doing calisthenics. Uh, I usually, I was usually doing just weights, um, every, like twice, twice a week. The thing is, when I did that, uh, it kind of, it kind of brought, it kind of brought the pain back to my back. So, back to the back. Alright, so yeah, I kind, of, kind of brought the pain back a little bit, and so now I'm trying to do these little calisthenic uh, workouts so that I can strengthen my whole body again before I actually go hard into this weightlifting again. So, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that. But either way, that was the vlog, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry for this weird transition, but thank you guys for watching. See you guys tomorrow on the next one. Like, subscribe, share. Thank you guys for supporting. Thank you guys for watching to the end. If you, got, if you watch to the end, here goes some words of wisdom for you. Aim for your dreams. But don't lose yourself along the way. Sometimes the road to greatness takes creating your own path. Be a savage like me. Create your own path. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.